To park for free, please use the Haining Car Park, which is located beside the stunning cathedral, only a five-minute walk from the apartment. Please ensure you adhere to the local signage and park in dedicated parking bays. There is additional free parking on the street directly outside the car park, and also the residential street, which you can park during your stay. Please be courteous when parking on the residential street, not to park over driveways. These are alternative options until a space is available in the Haining Car Park. To walk from the Haining Car Park, please follow me to the apartment. It's a five minute walk and the most convenient parking to the apartment. The street directly outside the apartment is free parking for one hour. This is ideal for arriving to the apartment to unload your luggage when arriving and for packing the car when departing. For parking, you can park for free on any of these spaces on the street. So free parking. And the intercom for the apartment is the top flat. The button is just here for you. Put the key safe. It's just on the left hand side of the wall. Just pull this black flat down. You then take the readers, the lever goes through, just slide this down, which resets the code, and enter the code here. Once you've entered the code, just take the dial just here, just turn it clockwise, which opens this key safe. Retrieve the keys, and then secure this by turning left anti-clockwise to lock it. Just check that it's locked. You can reset the code and pop the flat back up. For the keys, if you take this key, pop it into the bottom lock, and then just turn to the right, hold it, and push the door at the same time. Enter change the coming along. There's a wee light switch just here. And to lock the door behind you, just take this snip, just hold to the left and the side. Our apartment is on the top floor. The bins are just through this door. Brown is for the garden waste, blue recycling, and the grey is general waste. There's a light switch for the, the hall just here. It's just this light switch. Turn this off and on for the hall lights. Then up the stairs. Go through this door. Again, light switch just here for you. Feel free, you can close this door behind you. And up the stairs to the apartment door. And to enter the apartment, you want to take this key, pop it into the, the lock just here, and turn to the left. And welcome to our apartment. And to lock the apartment door from the inside, just take this little dial just here and just turn to the left, which locks the door. And then when you're exiting, just turn to the right to open. This light switch here activates the whole light outside so you can pop it on before you depart. And into the apartment. All the radiators throughout the apartment are all operated in the same way. Just take this dial just here and just turn to adjust. Lower, lower the numbers, the lower the temperature, and turn to the, the higher the numbers for the higher the temperature. And into our living room. A lovely, cosy spot for you to read. The radiators, just like the rest of the property, just to be dialed just here, just match the indicator with your desired temperature, just to make yourself comfortable. There's some lovely chairs which we got from the, the local cathedral. 
in the apartment. We have our welcome basket for you when you arrive to get you started. We've also got our house rules and Wi-Fi information for you just here and how everything works. We've also got our guest guidebook so you can have a look through all the information on the apartment through here. For the television we've got two remotes. The left hand remote here is for the sky and the right hand remote for the television. So if you take the television remote press the top left button just here this brings on the telly. Now this is a smart TV, so if you press the home menu just here, it takes you to all the smart functions. So you can use any of the, the apps through here. Feel free to sign in and out as you'd like. Then if you take the Sky Remote, if you then push the top left button just here, that turns on the Sky and it comes automatically on. You then use the wee down arrows just here to, to navigate through what you'd like to find. Go down to TV Guide and press the middle button and then you can select into all channels. Scroll through all the channels, find something you'd like to watch and then press the middle button. To come back to the main menu, just press the back button just here, which brings you back here. Uh, you can then press the home button, to you back to the main menu and then if you scroll down to apps and inputs just here. If you scroll to Netflix, we've got Netflix included in the TV package so feel free to watch and enjoy. And when you're finished just press the off button for the now TV and then off for the television as well. The Wi-Fi hub is just over in the corner just here. If the Wi-Fi does need reset at all during your stay just pop it off at the wall, leave it for a couple of minutes and put it back on. We have just here the intercom. If you have guests arriving, just lift up this and then you can speak to them through the intercom and just click and hold the, the key button, which allows access. We have our thermostat just here. To increase the temperature, there's a wee plus button here. Just tap this and you can see the temperature goes up and then press the minus button to reduce the temperature. It is a gas combo boiler, so it does come on quite quickly. Just in the cupboard just here, we have our trip switch. So if there is any power, power cuts or if anything gets tripped, if you come in here, please, and just check that all these are in the, the position just here. If anything is downwards, just flick it back up. If it is still having an issue, just give us a wee call and then we'll get it sorted for you. into the kitchen. We have a light switch just here. We have our fridge just in here with a freezer section on the top. Just pull this open and then just, and then just push closed. For the microwave, just pull to open push to close. The, the dial just in the bottom just here, just simply turn this round to your desired setting, 1 minute 30 for example, and then just press the button in to start to cancel or pause. So if you pause it, just tap this once, you can check your food, and then just press this in again to reset to cancel and stop completely. Press this twice, so once, twice, and that's it off. For the toaster, you have the dial just in the middle here, just turn to, to adjust, lower the numbers, lower the duration and higher, higher the duration. And then just pull this down to cancel, just this button. And the kettle, just the button just on the side, which turns it on. We've also got a Nespresso coffee machine for you. How to work this, you just lift this up here and then you pop one of the capsules in, just in the shape just here. Pull this down gently. And then for a small cup, just this button, and a large cup, just this button. To fill up the water, as it were, you want to pull this out towards the wall. And then just lift up. You then lift up the cover, fill it with water. And then for putting it back, just again, back in the same position, onto the hole, and then pull. 
for the bins here. We have our general waste in here, our recycling and glass. For the cooker, please just make sure that this switch is left on. This socket here, the, this is for the socket just here. To work any of the, the hob, this is for the top left, bottom left, bottom right, top right. Then this is for the, the fan oven and this is for the grill. So to make the bottom left one work, just take this dial just here, just turn around and you can see it does go on quite quickly. And then to turn it off, just back to zero. For the fan oven just here, just simply turn the dial around to your desired temperature. This wee light will go off when it's reached that temperature. And to open, it's just a door just here and push closed. For the grill, if you just turn that back off when ready, then for the grill just the same, just turn around to your desired temperature and there's the grill. To turn it off, just back to zero. For our washing machine, this is actually a washer and tumble dryer. So you have lots of settings here, pick any that you'd like. Uh, you have your your drying settings just in the bottom and washing just on the side. Just pick one that you'd like, the level of drying that you'd want, and then when you're ready, just press the start button. And when finished, just back up to, up to zero. In this drawer just here, you have your main detergent in this one and your fabric softener in this one. And under the sink, we've got some supplies for you, along with our fire blanket, first aid kit, and fire extinguisher. The emergency water cutoff is just under here. If you just turn this valve clockwise, then that turns it off in a case of emergency. It's just behind this kit board, which just goes back on. Like this. The taps, you've got your hot tap on the left hand side, cold on the right, just let it run for a moment and the gas cover bother just kicks in. Please make sure that this switch here is left on as well, which powers the washing machine. And in the whole cupboard just here, you have the boiler. We've also got our Hoover mop and our ironing board and also an earring rack just here for you along with some hanging space. Into our second bedroom. We have a double bed and a chest of drawers for you. Again, the radiator is just the same. Just line up the wee indicator line here, just with the number and just turn to adjust. And the light switch just here. into the master bedroom. We have a king size bed and chest of drawers. Your dryer is just in the top drawer with radiator as well. And the light switch. And into the bathroom. We have a overhead rainfall shower. To operate the shower, you have the dial just on the right here. This is the temperature gauge. So to make this warmer, you want to turn towards you, just to here, and then colder, further towards the wall. To turn the shower on, I'm not gonna do it just now because I don't want to get wet. If you turn this dial on, then the overhead and the handheld shower come on. To change between the shower head, just turn this dial. To adjust. We have our bathroom sink and toilet. And the fan does come off, go off when you put the light off, just by pulling this cord. And we're going to parting. We have the light switch just here for the apartment. Just make sure the dial is open. And if you take this key. Just pop it into the door and just turn to the right. Just 
check the door's locked. And then we'll back down the stairs. And just when you do depart, if you could please pop the light off in the hallway. Just make sure this is off. Again, just to exit, just take this down to the left and pull it over. To return the keys to the safe, please pull down the flap, pull the reset lever down, then enter the code. Then turn the dial clockwise to open the safe. Return the keys and then close the safe. Turn the dial anti-clockwise and check it's locked. Then put the cover back up. Thank you for staying with us at Juniper Rentals. We hope to welcome you back soon.